Okay, today we're going to perform the cyanide test. We start out by taking a test tube and marking it with an A. We're going to add four things to that. We'll add one half inch of RE2300 distilled water. We're going to add two drops of RE2308 three drops of RE2335 copper sulfate solution and one half spoonful of ammonium molybdate solid RE2344 half a spoonful we're going to go ahead and mix that with a pipette until it dissolves by sucking it up and spitting it out about ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to prepare our gas collection bowl. It's going to look something like this. I made that by taking a pipette, cutting off the stem at the first graduation mark, cutting a small slit in the top, just enough for gas to escape. Taking this reagent paper strip, squeezing the pipette just a little and leaving it so it sticks out about a quarter inch. I'm going to soak that with this blue solution I made from end to end by shoving the pipette up inside the bulb and leave dispensing about five drops onto the paper. Set the bulb aside. Take a new test tube. We're going to mark it with a B now. And into that test tube I'm going to put my sample. It's a half inch of a liquid or a half spoonful of a solid. Here my sample today are Cheerios. I want to make sure that Someone's not trying to poison me. I crushed them up a little bit. I'm going to put a half spoonful into the test tube. And now I'm going to take and add, since it's a solid, one half inch of water. Shake for 15 seconds. That was RE2300 distilled water. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now I'm going to add six drops of the RE2304 sulfuric acid. This can be pretty hot. It's going to hiss. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. We're going to take that bulb that we set aside, shove it into the top, make a nice tight seal with it, and now we wait for five minutes. I'll be back in five minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, our five minutes are up. We're going to take and remove the bulb after we examine the test tube. We're looking for the formation of a white solid down here. That might indicate an amine or a thiocyanate. Or we're looking for any coloration on the paper. It stayed white, but if it turned orange to brown, there might be sulfides present as well. Alright, so it stayed white. Uh, the uh, Cheerios down below didn't turn into a white solid. We're going to remove the bulb. And now very carefully, we're going to remove the paper using the forceps. We're going to grab it in the middle. And once we pull it out, we're going to take our 2303 and add one drop of this 2303 hydrochloric acid to each end and we're looking for the formation of a blue color okay I want to know if someone has tried to poison me and I can start seeing just right here a bunch of blue forming at the tip of the paper there some navy blue color you can see it at the end really well so yes, the Cheerios were laced with cyanide. This is considered a positive test. Alright, that's it for today.